Well, today I uh, brought a sharp uh, pencil and I uh, brought some pieces of uh, paper and scrap paper. And I brought this because uh, this is what I use to uh, structure my week and structure my thoughts. I studied bioengineering uh, at KU Leuven. When I started my PhD, I did not uh, really have a career in mind uh, or a career in research. I had this opportunity to go to the US after my studies to work in a research lab for one year. In the end, I stayed in the US for five years. It was never the plan, but it, it was, it was uh, I had a great time. It was a lot of fun. When I, I came back from the US, I uh, finished my PhD research in Leuven. Again, I had the opportunity uh, to start a postdoc, uh, this time at uh, Gasthuisberg. Uh, so still at KU Leuven, but not with the bioengineers anymore. Even though at the same time, I had already decided that I did not want a career in research, I did not want to stay in research. Shortly after I started the postdoc, I actually also started uh, looking uh, to see or thinking about what I would want to do uh, if I did not want to keep on doing research. Pretty quickly, I saw a vacancy at the research coordination office of KU Leuven and I knew someone uh, working in the office. I talked to him uh, before and I thought, wow, his job is so interesting. He, he gets to work with researchers. He uh, gets to support researchers in many ways. I was so excited about it at the time and, and I felt excited about it when I saw the vacancy. So I thought, okay, maybe should, I should apply. Today, uh, I'm the head of the International Funds team at K. Leuven's Research Coordination Office. I am still also involved uh, as an expert on the topic, so everything related to international research funding, international research policy, uh, that is part of what I do. Throughout the years, um, I also uh, worked a lot on um, doctoral policy, on research careers, and uh, in, in, in very recent years also postdoctoral policy, so I also consider myself an expert uh, on, on those themes. I have lots of meetings uh, with lots of people, uh, both of my team, of the, of the wider office, of the research coordination office. I'm part of uh, several international networks where I represent KU Leuven. When I first started at the research coordination office, uh, I was also a funding advisor, which meant that I would uh, help professors or I would teach professors uh, how to write project applications and then I would uh, review these applications, give feedback and uh, well basically help them write the perfect funding application in the hope of uh, getting uh, funding uh, for their projects. Um, so I'm, I also consider myself an expert uh, in, in project writing. Being where I am, I get to translate this, this policy into initiatives, into um, regulations sometimes, uh, but also events or, or really courses uh, that are directly to the benefit of KU Leuven's researchers. Uh, which makes me see the immediate impact uh, of my work. And that is what I really like, the combination of doing both. I currently have a team of, of eight people. I think, wow, now I have to count. Uh, six of them uh, have a PhD. So, so that's, yeah, that's quite a lot. Um, uh, at the Research Coordination Office of, of KU Leuven, uh, we we, uh, we help our researchers with doing uh, their research. And so what we find uh, very important at the Research Coordination Office is that the people uh, that work there and that built that bridge between the administration and the researchers, that these people understand the research process uh, from the inside out. I think in the, in the last five or ten years, more and more researchers um, have become part of the ATP at, at KU Leuven. So I, I have to say they're former researchers right now. 
So it's really something that I've been noticing in many uh, ATP uh, functions. It's, it's a real asset. My advice uh, would be um, reflect um, on what you like about your current job as a researcher, what you not like uh, about the job. Be honest uh, to yourself, perhaps um, go to the Eureka Career Center and talk to the advisors there or take a course. Looking back on, on my career path, I think I've always um, somehow followed my heart and my passion. Uh, I did not have a, a career plan, to be honest. Um, but it's also not that I, I just uh, stumbled from one opportunity to the other. Every time I, I make, I, um, I took the next, a next step in my career. I thought about that. I thought about the opportunities that there were. I reflected on uh, where I was in my career and what I wanted to learn as a next step, uh, where I thought uh, I could go um, to uh, continue developing myself uh, as a professional.